Hi everybody, Levi Clay here, and today, in celebration of the release of my new book, Hybrid Picking Guitar Technique, we will be looking at some basic hybrid picking examples for the beginning hybrid picking guitar player. Now, of course, hybrid picking technique is the use of the pick and the fingers in combination when playing the guitar. It's an integral part of my playing. I absolutely love it as an approach, and I'm sure you're gonna love it too. If you do enjoy this video, like I say, link in the description, please do head on over to Amazon and grab a copy of the book for yourself. Lots and lots of exercises in there in this vein that are gonna take your playing to the next level. So let's take a look at these exercises. So first up, worth mentioning, I'm of course using my axe cam mount here so you can get a real nice up close shot of my fingers. That's gonna be really important when working on this because the goal here is really understanding not just what to play, but how we actually play those things with our fingers. Now hybrid picking, as I say, is using your fingers to pluck the strings. And the first thing that's worth pointing out is that it is not a motion of the wrist. So if you look at my hand close up here, it's not a case of lifting up with my hand in order to pluck strings. If I wanna pluck the B string, I won't lift up with my wrist like this. The motion comes from the finger. So the hand stays static on the guitar. And this is why I like hybrid picking as an approach so much, because it actually results in minimal movement in my picking hand. I can be more relaxed in the way I play. If I play something a little bit more complicated, like... There's very little motion going on in my hand, which is wonderful for my wrist. So that motion really comes from the fingers and not, not from the wrist. So the first example I wanna give you as something to actually practice would involve a bend. Now any bend will work for this. If we were to bend from the uh, seventh fret on the G string up to the ninth fret on the G string and then alternate with the fifth fret on the B string. <laughs> Very simple concept. Now, of course, you could quite easily pluck these uh, both of these notes with the pick. But speed becomes an issue when you're having to bounce between those two notes. Lots of wasted motion in our picking hand. Whereas using the pick and the finger, That's a concept that I'm going to use all the time. That pick and finger for that bend really makes the playing a lot easier for me, which is why I'm using that technique. So that's your first example, just using the finger to pluck an adjacent string to the one that you're, you're actually playing on. Now the next example is more of a lick based idea. And the first thing that we'll need to do in order to get this one uh, together would be to look at the actual notes that we're gonna be playing. So when we're looking at the main camera here, I'm, I'm actually gonna be playing descending sixths on the, uh, the D and the B strings. So I'm gonna be, I'm thinking of an A major chord again. And I'll be playing the 11th fret and the 10th fret on the B string. Then shifting that down a tone, giving us 9 and 8. Then we'll be playing 7 and 7. 5 and 5. 4 and 3. And then ending on an A major chord, 2 and 2. So as a pattern... Again, if you look at my picking hand when I do that. Lots of, uh, well, the opposite of lots of minimal motion in that picking hand. Now on its own, that doesn't sound incredibly musical, so we're gonna add a rhythm to that. So the pattern we're gonna play would be, well, it's gonna sound like this. We're sliding into the 11th fret, and we're gonna play. So it's a lovely sounding lick, and really all I'm doing, as I say, is I'm just moving between those sixths. But with a slightly more interesting rhythm. And when I get to the bottom there, I'm thinking about my A major chord. I'm playing this very simple lick using the second fret and the third fret of the B string. 
and then I'm descending out of that A major pentatonic. Now, I'm not going into too much detail there. That's covered in the book. Uh, very much a, not, not necessary for the technique. It really doesn't matter how you end a lick like this, but as a concept, the uh, descending sixth and then combining that, and, or sorry, mixing that in with something a little bit more traditional. <laughs> effect that's two licks now let's look at this final lick so what we've done so far i would describe as melodic uh, picking here so we're, we're alternating between the pick and then the finger so that's an alternating technique it's also worth looking at concepts where we do the same idea but harmonically so playing with the two notes at the same time now in the book i describe this as the pinching technique so we'd be pinching two notes together with the pick and the finger so if i take those same sixth intervals that we looked at before Here's those things played melodically. And then the same things played with a pinching technique. Now what you'll notice here is the pick and the finger pinch together. And again, what you notice is I'm not lifting away with the wrist of the, of the hand like this. It really is the pick and the fingers pinching together. control. So the lick that I'm going to show you is it's another sixth idea, but now we're going to move over onto the high E string. So uh, the G and the high E string. So if we're playing around an A major chord, uh, the fifth fret, a big barred chord, the pattern that I'll play all the time will involve sliding into the ninth fret on the G and B strings. Sorry, on the G and high E strings. We'll move that down chromatically to seven and seven, and then we'll end with a hammer. So we'll be barring the fifth fret of the G and the high E strings, picking those two notes together and hammering on to the sixth fret of the G string. Now that's our A major chord sound. Now this is something I use all the time. take a look at that in the context of a chord. You can make it sound a little bit more melodic by sliding in. If I was applying that to something, let's say I was playing uh, playing on a blues in the in the key of G. Anytime I see this bar chord, here's my C chord and my five chord D. Can't really get there because of my camera mount. <laughs> but I could play licks using this basic concept around my chord. So for G. lovely technique that really uh, facilitates a lot of things on the guitar when it comes to the melodic ideas playing uh, alternating between notes you could usually do these with a pick although it's a lot more work for the hand but when it comes to these harmonic ideas playing two notes at the same time we're really opening doors for ourselves so that's the extent of this lesson. Uh, very simple in concept, and I would encourage you to start looking at some of these ideas yourself. If you have enjoyed these, of course, I will encourage you to please do go and check out my new book, Hybrid Picking Guitar Technique. Link in the description. Find it on Amazon right now. And if you have any questions about this, please do let me know in that comment section below. 
Hope you've enjoyed this, guys. I'll be back for another video tomorrow looking at some slightly more intermediate ideas before moving on to some advanced ideas the day after that. So hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Laters.